Hi, this is Dirk and Ben, and we are Whiskey Rickhouse, and we are here for December 23rd of our Rum Advent Calendar. Lord, Ben, we're almost at the end. Day to go. What are we going to drink after this? Well, I'll let you know when we finish this up, and the okay. favorite one will be the one I drink. Back to whiskey. <laughs> Alright, well, we got the Batran aged rum here. It's a Reserva Blanca, and it's a product of Guatemala, coming in at 40% alcohol by volume. It has an almost clear color to it. Um, yeah, almost clear. I mean, maybe a tint, a hinge of yellow in there, but not a whole yeah, lot. Pretty much so clear. Um, got a wonderful nose on it, though. So what do you get out of that nose? Um, there's a, a faint underlying alcohol. Um, it's not very overpowering at all. Um, more than that, I get uh, the sweetness. Um, not quite as rich as a molasses. Um, more like a sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a, a regular sugar sweetness. I get a hint of, uh, of wood, surprisingly, despite, despite the fact there's no color. Interesting. I get about the same there. Less wood on there. I get a little more hit of the alcohol up in the front nose, but as soon as I tasted it, that palate was just smooth. It was sweet all the way through, almost like a, a white sugar. Um, in terms of the sweetness, almost like we did a simple syrup on it. And then those fruit flavors kind of pop right in the middle. Yeah. Um, this is a really, really good rum for a... The, the silver interpretation. Normally, I tend to fall towards the darker ones because I like the sweeter flavor in the rums. Mm -hmm. um, this still carries some of the sweetness without being cloyingly sweet, um, but not the alcohol burn I typically see in the silver rums. Yeah. Um, this one's been treated very well. I agree. I mean, this one, I, I would say, you can drink it straight almost a little bit. might need a chilled down. Um, or, if you have a cocktail that needs a clear rum to go into it, I would sub out your normal Picards and Don Q's and put something like this in this place to make it a nice uh, smooth finish. Yeah, I know I haven't been real friendly to the uh, clear rums through the course of, of the calendar, but I'm going to give this one a thumbs up, Ben. All right, well, I'm going to give it a thumbs up as well. It's going to end up on my shelf, I think, and join us tomorrow for Christmas Eve. All right, the last day. Um, I hope we have a good treat in store. Uh, me too. It's been a wonderful trip on this advent calendar, guys. Normally we only do the whiskey advent calendar. It's our first year doing the rum, and it's really been nice. I've tried tons of rums that I haven't had. Only a few in the calendar have I had before, so it's been a really good experience for me. I agree. Looking at liquor store shelves and what I thought I knew of Caribbean rums, I thought I had a pretty wide uh, palate, or not palate, but uh, exposure to those, and uh, this just proved me wrong this year. Yeah, got a lot to learn still. That's a good thing. Cheers. Cheers.